Yes, the story catches. Please, son, this is getting side ring with me. Getting in with me catches claim. If you like to lose your money, be a fool and bet on Sunday. So 40 years old, if a day, and you don't belong in the ring with cash of clay. Feeling great. I'm ready to go to war right now. My New Year's revolution is to knock out that big ugly bear, shake up the whole world in 1964, and talk no more. How did not dream when they put down that money that they would see a total eclipse of the sun. I want to make one prediction. I'm not calling around. I predict that when I meet Joe Frazier, this will be like a good amateur fighting a real professional. This yeah. will be like a kid out of the Olympics meeting the fastest heavyweight champion that ever lived. This will be no contest. This fight will be much easier. He will be easier to hit. He will not be as much trouble or as awkward as Oscar Bonavino. Joe Frazier... This will go down. I predict that the fans will be angry. They'll be mad at the uh, 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 critics. They'll be mad at the experts for misleading them so much. You this man time. will be you completely got, out hey, of box. You got time. Outplayed. You got time. This will you, be no look, contest. Look, That's look, all I want to say. No, all right. What do you say, Joe? Joe? What do you say to that? I'd say he's nothing say? but a bunch of noise. Yeah. That's all. He's going way back in the time right. of, uh, let's say, 20 years ago. You yeah. know what I mean? This is the I'm day, man. You understand? I just want to You're not fighting Glory. You're not fighting. Oscar Bonavena, you're not fighting Sonny Liston, you fighting Joe Frazier. Well, everybody knows that's, that's not the point. That's the point. Joe, what's what? your prediction? My prediction, the fight wouldn't go the distance. Oh, it won't I'll go stop it. Stop me. You. How soon? What round? Look, don't, anyway, don't, don't let him obligate you. One to ten, agitated. you be He's out agitated. there. I was a bet you. <laughs> <laughs> You be out there. He got we famous yeah, about us boxers around. Didn't get, 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 out 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 get ready, cause here I come. All right, that's all I wanna say. No, no pre-fight talk. No, and we, that's no amateur day I'm right now. That's no, no. Champ now. Yes, I didn't say. What are you looking so sad about, Champ? Man, I'm surprised at you. I mean, I'm really insulted. I mean, that's not right. What you just said. What do you mean, what I just said? I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to get a drink of water. I'm late getting on, but you talk. I said something about the greatest heavyweight champ, man. I mean, I'm, a, I'm a hometown man, and you talking about Joe Lewis, man. Joe Lewis wouldn't, wouldn't be nothing for me. Joe, I tell you, Joe, do you think you would have stood a chance with me? <coughs> well, Clay, uh, during one time I during my career, uh, I went on a bum of the month tour. Bum of the month? I would have been a bum in, in, compared to you. Well, you'll be on the tour. Oh, I sat Don't back there. Me, Listen, I you. sat back there. <laughs> I sat back there, and I listened to every word you said. Howard, every time you open your mouth, you should be arrested for air pollution. <laughs> still be an impoverished anonymity in this country if I hadn't made you famous. How can you say that after all I've done for you? After all I've done for you, I made you, Cosell. You know yourself, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't really be who you are today. Because every time I fight, go to foreign countries, you would always be there. You never would have gotten to those countries if it wasn't me. And lately you... I made you, Cosell. Lately you haven't been able to follow me because I understand your budget is much cheaper. <laughs> Life is so, I admire style, but you pay so cheap, I won't be back for a while. <laughs> what was it you told me? Don't make so much of that football guy, Dandy Don. We're still the number one act. Is that what you told me when you were in training for Frazier? When was that? When I want you so bad, I just get tired. I, I done made you great in this country, and you still pop it off. I want you bad. Wait, let's get the facts straight. I made you. You made Nobody me. Nobody knew you. You made me. I took a poor little kid from Lower Bell and, and made, made me. Him. Let's put Anybody it on the thing. About Anybody who didn't watch football didn't know you. <laughs> I made you, Cosell. I say, Ali used to float like a butterfly. He used to sting like a bee. But when he fight Larry Holmes, he'll fall in round three. I'm going to fall in three. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you for real? You was crazy. <laughs> You slapped me. That's just the beginning of what you're going to get. You ain't knocked nobody out in 67, uh, 76, and you say you're going to knock me out. I ain't never been out. 35 fights. Yeah, I'm going to knock you out. You're going to get paid for this. We get paid for this. We're great. I'm sorry they ignored I said, when I get big, I'm going to get them for you. Messed up his face. Broke all four legs and knocked his ass out of place. Somehow. <laughs>
the little round managed to get away. He drug his ass back to the jungle more dead and alive. Just to run into that little monkey and some more of his signifying child. Mm. And then they say, you know you got a revenge on Lee, right? I said, yes. Wow. I was only 14, they put all that on me.